Hi, I'm Brenda from Alberta Quilter. Please stay tuned for today's tips. Old versus new. Hmm, sometimes old is not as great as we think it is and new sometimes is not as great as we think it is. So what do we do? But well, when it comes to thread, we, um, we chuck the old and we bring in the new. I know that's pretty radical because some of us, like me, I have many, um, my son will, will attest to this, he's probably shaking his head right now, I have a lot of thread and a lot of it is a little bit old. And so here I am telling you, get rid of your old thread but I love to get rid of my thread because it's so pretty. <laughs> but in any case, um, yeah, we, we, we need to think about uh, what, our, what, pro what kind of product we're going to get when we're done using that thread. So um, I have found that some threads, um, you can test their age um, just by giving them a little yank to see, okay, is this thing strong? Is it going to, am I going to actually break it? This is an aurifil. It's fairly strong and it's, it's, a, it's a fairly new um, thread that I, I have bought. Now, some threads, when they get old, they get brittle so, and they're dried out. So they're easy to break in your hands. If they're easy to break in your hands, trust me, they're going to be very easy to break in your machine and you will end up re-threading that machine more times than you want to. So um, do yourself a favor when you start a new project, um, buy yourself the new thread that you're going to need for it. You might have left over at the end, that's fine, but um, you know, go out, get the colors you need, buy, you know, put it aside and use that thread for that um, project. You will be a very happy quilter and um, and you will thank me for this tip, trust me. Have a great day. Thanks for watching us. Please join us next time. If you would like to know more about the products that I love and I have used in these videos, um, please check out the comment section below. And of course, like and share my videos. Thank you very much.